Sometimes slaps come as surveys. It goes without saying that for Angela Merkel it is at most unpleasant that the five years after her we can do it, wir schaffen das sentence, a very large majority of Germans would like a completely different refugee policy. Which does not mean that the cheerful and confident welcome culture would have been replaced by a selfish, nasty fortress policy towards people in need. It just means that we didn't make it as the Chancellor might have imagined it. And that most people have just learned that. They have understood at least three things in the past five years. Those who let in all the refugees give up state control at a sensitive point. The fact that very few have to leave Germany again makes things worse. And the fact that the perceived European solution will never exist does not help to relax either. 59% want to end the illegal entry of asylum seekers. They hope that more vulnerable people will be flown in directly from crisis regions. That's what Infratest DMAP determined on behalf of the world. Die Welt. That's a German newspaper. And that's not all. According to the survey, supporters of the Social Democrats are particularly positive about this proposal. Perhaps that is not understood by those who, whose last name is Kühnert and their first name is Kevin. That's a Social Democrat politician who is on the rise at the moment. Others who are less interested in the Social Democratic functionaries than in the Social Democratic sympathizers can understand that more easily. Gerhard Schröder, for example, the last federal chancellor with whom the Social Democrats, the SPD, was able to convince the electorate. Schröder says it in simple words. The SPD is the party that guarantees internal security for those who cannot buy it. This requires a strong state. That means that one should be very careful with the general criticism of the police. The slap in the face for Merkel is also one for Saskia Esken, one of the co-chairs of the SPD, who had accused the police of latent racism. In the rural area, at least social democratically ticking pensioners Many know that looking for a villain in districts like Essen-Altendorf or Duisburg-Marxloh in the bio-German Latte Macchiato milieu is rather unlikely, racial profiling or not. And the question of why the SPD does not get beyond the 20 percentage points is no longer asked. Is it perhaps also due to the multicultural migration policy? Angela Merkel is the most popular German politician in all polls. That's because of Corona. In the pandemic crisis, the Chancellor conveys seriousness, calm and reliability. That is why she is popular, respected and looked up to. In the Christian Democratic Union, you can hear the most anxious question right now, how long it will stay that way. For example, when it becomes even more visible in autumn, how much the German economy is on its knees. Or if this other largely repressed topic boils up again the asylum question. Because it will, just because of the German Council Presidency in the European Union. A European asylum solution is a long way off. The return to the old Dublin system, which continues to be the current legal situation, is considered almost impossible for political reasons. Then the refugees would have to stay where they arrive first, in Greece or Italy. A Europe-wide distribution solution is also unlikely due to the different national interests of the countries and the community. It remains to make the European border more or less tight and to fly asylum seekers directly from one of the approximately 70 camps in the crisis regions. But that would require a change in European asylum law and not even the German Federal Minister of the Interior speaks of it. Most of those involved apparently only agree on the assessment that the European Commission, led by the German Dr. Ursula von der Leyen, is not expected to provide a comprehensive solution. This brings the topic back onto the agenda. In autumn, shortly before the CDU Federal Party Conference, which will elect a new party chairman or chairwoman. And along after this party congress, which will once again make it clear in moving pictures that the Merkel era is nearing the end, the CDU and CSU will jointly determine their candidate for chancellor. In view of the foreseeable depressing economic figures, and a failed asylum solution at European level, how will the candidate position themselves? And how will the SPD react to such a scenario? At the beginning of the Corona crisis, one of the most popular phrases 
was that this pandemic would change everything, including politically. The sentence was correct. Angela Merkel has experienced a renaissance as crisis chancellor and Bavarian Prime Minister Markus Söder has seen a meteoric rise. Olaf Scholz, who last time was not elected SPD chairman, has now steadily achieved the best approval ratings of all Social Democrats, which may also be due to the fact that he virtually bought his candidacy as chancellor with billion dollar programs. But Corona also taught how quickly moods can be changed or turned when the political weather changes. Storm is coming in autumn. And if you now want to know more about European politics from a German point of view, YouTube has chosen another video for you right here in the end screen, right next to your chance to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you in my next video. Click and enjoy. Viel Spaß!